Howdy y'all, Henry here at Kamek, and today we have a 80 series Land Cruiser uh, with a front runner Slimline 2 roof rack that we're gonna be installing our crosswing awning on. And what you're gonna see in this video is how we take some uh, very cheap aftermarket tools and uh, our stock mounting hardware kit that comes included in your crosswing awning and going to be pairing those together to create a really seamless, uh, nice look on this front runner. The customer had an old awning on here where he had gone and created some chocks. They're about the exact same height as this profile on the Slimline 2. And that's something that's unique to this um, brand's rack is they have a little lip that runs around the entire perimeter. We're actually gonna repurpose these um, as they're the perfect height for our awning. And so what this essentially is, is we're creating a standoff. This is our standard talon mount right here. We take that and we're gonna just drop that on slide that into place and that essentially puts our stock mounting hardware at the perfect height of this lip right here so our awning is going to sit pretty much flush with this top lip right here so now that we've got everything tightened down here uh, and installed what we're going to go and do is we're going to take the talon side of the talon mount uh, and we're going to swing that on and so what we've already gone and done uh, to make it a little bit easier is we've installed this top bolt just standard m8 bolt and did a kind of just like loose fit of that bolt there um, now we're going to go and take those talon mounts we're going to slide them onto the back of the awning uh, and measure them to match uh, the spacing of this right here so that we can easily go in, latch this on. And these two square nuts, we're going to just take those and slide that into the back of our profile just like so. And I may have tightened it down a little bit too much, which I did. So just loosen that up just a little bit and you're going to just slide that right on and then we're going to measure these out and tighten them down and then drop them onto uh, the base of our mounting hardware. Since there's only two people in the office today, I had our cameraman help me get this up here because it's a relatively tall vehicle. But just uh, to show y'all how this would exactly work, what we're gonna do is you have your talon mounts and that bolt, and that just kind of goes and slots into place like so. And this is able to go and rest uh, fully supported like this to allow you to go grab the other bolts and install them at your desired angle. So now that we've got all of the hardware tightened down on the back of this profile, positioned exactly how we want it, what we're gonna go and do is set the angle. So um, based on the height of this vehicle, we decided that the neutral position is the best. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna take the included hardware, we're gonna find that middle hole, and we're gonna slot it to where that lines up all the way across. And so you can get it a little finger tight and then we're gonna go over here do the exact same and we'll tighten it all down here in just a second. All right, now that we got the hardware all tightened down and the awning uh, positioned at the angle in which we want it, we're gonna do one final test, make sure everything's working as expected and we're gonna put it away and send our customer off. So to do that, what we're gonna go and do is we're gonna take this ratchet, which normally sits in the lock position and we're gonna put it in the unlock position. You just do that by pressing it to the back of the awning profile. And we're gonna take these little poles right here uh, that have a little snap holding it in place. We're gonna go and pull it out. And so what you listen for when going and doing this is you're listening for the clicks and you should hear three when pulling out. There's three positions in which you can open this awning to. Right now we have this deployed to the furthest. And if you were going and setting up, <laughs> You're good. <laughs> Just roll with it, man. All right. <laughs> it's a busy day here in East Austin, Texas. Very busy day. So in its open-most position, let's say you're going and staying uh, here, we're gonna set up for camp, what have you. You'd go and take this, put it back in the lock position, and then to tighten up the awning fabric, all you gotta do is press up, 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 up. That tightens the whole awning up, brings it tightens all the poles, tightens the fabric. It's just gonna be, uh, it also raises that front face plate a little bit. Um, this is how we typically set it up. Once you're ready to put it back away, you take that, the same lever, and you're gonna take it and you're gonna unlock it, just like so. You're gonna grab these same poles, and you're gonna over pull it about four inches, and you're gonna just put it back away like so. For safety measures, we always recommend you put it in the lock position, and then go one, two, little clicks up, and then always go and click these back down. All right, and there you have it. 
We successfully installed the Camac Crosswing awning on a Front Runner Slimline 2. Uh, if you ever have any questions, please give us a call at Kamek.com. Uh, <laughs> give us a call. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Nailed it.